Hello, this is Shane with Condeco. Thank you for joining me today. I'm gonna to walk you through our Condeco add-in. This is used for very complex reservations. Uh, if you wanna add equipment, services, or it could also be just used for booking a quick room. Let's go ahead and create a reservation. I'm in our Office 365, but we do support multiple versions. So let's open up a reservation, put in a subject, add some invitees, doesn't make a difference, internal, external. From here, I have a couple different options. I could book a single room, or I could look at a grid to book across maybe multiple facilities. Let's just go ahead and make a single reservation. When I click on the room booking, it's gonna pull up my profile. So it knows that I wanna see USA, New York, my New York headquarters, and then I could search based on attributes. I could search based on style of rooms. So maybe I need rooms with classroom style. It will automatically populate attendees. I could drill down to a certain floor. If you notice, we have a couple of different types of rooms. Self-managed means I could book it, it's approved automatically. Managed means I could see it, but I request it and somebody has to approve it. And then blind managed would be more like an event center. I don't see the room, but I could say I need a projector. I have 20 people. I need catering services, and the administrator would sign the room for me. All of this will add right back into your Outlook calendar. So let's go ahead and just look for a room in our New York location, and let's do find. Here are all the rooms that are available. There's multiple pages of rooms. If you notice, there's request now and book. That's the difference between managed or self-managed, and that's listed here. Here are all of the attributes of the rooms, which is defined by our clients. Here's the setup. So by default, these rooms come in the setup. And for any reason I wanted to look at one of these rooms, I forgot what it looked like, I could simply click on it. It'll show me the details of the room. If there's a cost associated with it per hour, all of the attributes and services and equipment that could be added to it. So let's just go ahead and click a room. So let's go ahead and pick the Bryan Park room. From here, what it's gonna do, I could just hit save or send and the reservation be completed. It would block off that room in exchange and it would also uh, add it to my colleagues' calendars. But from this page, we could do a lot more. So right now I'm the requester and it's also for me. I can make this for one of my colleagues. It's gonna pull your information over from Active Directory. I could type in any type of notes for uh, administrators. We could force a cost code or we could uh, pull it up through a, a list. I could have special reminders. I could have internal or external attendees. If they're external, we could send them directions on how to get there uh, to the facility from maybe the airport or the train station. I could also get an email upon arrival. We could add catering services, equipment, supplies, all of that very quickly. So let's just go ahead and add some breakfast. Let's get some bagels. It will populate um, automatically with the number of people I have. I can modify that. Also, I'll have a time. If maybe I wanted the uh, breakfast delivered halfway through the session, I could have it delivered at 11 o'clock instead. We could force a cost code or not. We could also put in notes here. It'll be sent over to the catering vendor. Please bring extra butter. From here, let's go ahead and add some drinks. So we want some orange juice. And then let's also add equipment. So we already found a room that had a projector and had a, white, uh, had a whiteboard, but maybe we need something else brought to the room. So let's go ahead and get a flip chart brought to that room. We could also put in a note there that says, you know, bring extra markers or please bring extra red. I can look at a summary of this reservation. It will give me complete details. Who requested this? Who the host was? Were there any attendees? Was there a cost center associated with build back to you? And what was the overall cost of that reservation? From here, I could just click done and that reservation's been created. From here, I click book and it takes me right back into my Outlook calendar and then I ultimately hit send. The nice thing what happens behind the scenes is we're gonna have different workflows that are sent off to the, the group that sets up the room or brings over the flip chart as well as catering services. It will update the subject of my reservation. 
I could add a, a Teams or a Zoom reservation to that meeting, and then ultimately hit send, and we've completed, I'd say, a pretty complex reservation in just a couple of seconds. Thank you and have a wonderful day.